Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, that would be awesome if you subscribed, hit that bell icon, give me a thumbs up, all that jazz. I would appreciate it. It's a good way to uh, support the channel, expand my reach, and be able to bring you guys more and better content. With that being said, we're going to be talking about plate carriers. My question to you guys right off the bat, down in the description below, what is your favorite plate carrier? Is it one that you already own? Is it one that you're looking to buy? Or um, ones that you've trained with in the past? Whatever the case may be, let me know down in the comment section down below. This time, we're gonna be talking about the H-Rack from HRT. And uh, let me tell you, this plate carrier is pretty freaking awesome. I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag right from the get-go. I really do like this plate carrier, and I'm gonna get into all the reasons why here in just a second. But you may remember HRT from a previous video back in January when I went to SHOT Show 2020. I ran into them there and was really impressed by the design and the thought that they put into their products. So I wanted to get a better, closer look at one of their plate carriers. They sent me an HR, uh, H-Rack rather, and I've been running it for the last couple of months. You've probably seen it in some of the other videos that I've done here recently. With that being said, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just here to talk to you guys about a product that I was excited to get my hands on and uh, want to highlight the things that uh, HRT has done very well with this. But I also want to be fair to you guys and talk about some of the concerns that I have with it as well. Is it perfect for everyone? I don't think so, but it's perfect for me and I absolutely love it. So we're going to get into it here in just a second. So this is going to be the third plate carrier review I've done. If you guys are interested in finding where all the plate carriers are that I've used, I'll have that over at fitandfire.com under the carriers tab. You guys can just click on that and it'll show you all of the different carriers that I've looked at. This one um, is my favorite. It is not going to be a budget model like the others that I've talked about in the past is. Uh, this is going to be one that you're going to put some money into and the quality that you're going to get out of this carrier is going to reflect the price that you pay. So there is that right out of the bag. So let's talk about the things that I really do like about this carrier. Uh, first and foremost is it is the most comfortable carrier that I've ever worn. Regardless if that's inside or outside of the military, I've worn uh, body armor or plate carriers spanning the spectrum from flak vests to IBAs, IOTVs. Uh, out of the military, I've looked at the Condor lightweight plate carrier and the Rothko lightweight plate carrier, and this one takes the cake, in my opinion. One of the reasons why is the shoulder straps here are extremely adjustable and are padded to add to that comfort level. The, uh, the other thing is that uh, the straps are angled away from your neck, so even though that the straps get a good bite on your shoulder and uh, are going to be sturdy and set exactly where you put it, it's going to be away from your neck so you don't have to worry about wearing a neck gaiter or a shemog or anything around your neck to keep from chafing um, from the straps to your neck. So that's something I would really do like as well. Another great thing about the comfort level on this is on the inside of the plate carrier is these Velcro strips right here and these are designed for the HRT pontoons that you can buy separately from the carrier and that's something I really did like the idea of. The reason why I like that idea is because it does two things for you. One is it creates a, uh, a level of standoff distance from your chest to allow air to move through here and to um, you know keep you as cool as possible but it also again keeps uh, a standoff distance from your chest so if you do get uh, a round coming in and hitting you in your plate then you will have a bit of a shock absorber against your body so that you don't have to worry as much about soft tissue damage or even breaking a rib. And that's something that I really did like, the fact that they thought about that and implemented it into their design. So that is one of the great things I love about the comfort 
level on this. So the other great thing that I like about this plate carrier is its modularity. And that's something that really turned me on to HRT when I met them back in January at SHOT Show. Uh, I like the idea that you can choose a a number of different designs to the placards that you have up front for your magazines. This is a two and two. Not necessarily my favorite, but that's just because I'm not used to it. I'm used to having three up front. Uh, they have the, um, the little dangle right here for your tourniquet, which this has ran through a fighting rifle course at Tactical Response and has held up very well. Something I really do like. It allows me to have two tourniquets with me at all times. One on my plate carrier, one on my battle belt. That's super cool. They also have stuff for the backside of the plate carrier as well, regardless if that is, uh, you know, bags for your helmet or comms equipment, hydration systems. They've got a whole bunch of different things that you can customize this plate carrier to exactly the way you want. But let's say that you don't like some of the things that HRT has with this plate carrier, you can easily switch it out. So you've got this one on here right now. I went to Amazon and just picked up this really cheap one for my AK mags, and it's super easy. All you got to do is just take off the uh, plastic clips that are right here, set that aside, and then let's see if I can do this upside down and show you guys. You just take it, put these clips into the receptacles, one on one side, one on the other. and then just lay it down onto the Velcro and you've gone from AR to AK just that quickly. Now they do have 308 placards uh, available at HRT, but uh, I, I just was impatient. I didn't want to wait uh, for me to reach out to them and figure something out. I just went to Amazon, found something really cheap. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like freaking Airsoft, uh, but it has, uh, it, it's big enough for my AK mags. It's got stuff for pistol mags and an administrative pouch. It, it checked all the blocks, it was super cheap, and I can run it here at the range and be just fine with it. So that's something I really do like. So let's say that you have a Haley Strategic placard, um, you can run that with this as well, uh, which is something I really did like. Now, let's talk about some of the things that are a bit of a concern when it comes to this plate carrier. And to be frankly honest with you, there's really only one concern that I personally have. There may be others for you guys. Hopefully you'll be able to think about it on your own and look at this plate carrier and come up with something. If you do have something, sound off in the comment section down below and let's talk about it. But the biggest thing that I have is the uh, retention clip here is, it's plastic, you know? And yeah, I get it, it's, it's uh, inexpensive to produce. Uh, it is robust, I will say that it's pretty thick plastic, but if, you know, if you're gonna run this as like a duty plate carrier for law enforcement or for military, uh, you Marines out there know that these will break real easy, <laughs> you know? So I would like to see the Cumberband that HRT offers to be the standard. I would like to see that as the standard design for this. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I, I don't like these clips because they tend to, you know, kind of push in on my side, pinch me when I'm putting it on. Uh, those types of things I'm just not a big fan of. I'm used to the Cumberbands when it comes to the IOTVs and the other two plate carriers that I've uh, looked at as a civilian. So that's just kind of what I'm used to, what I um, kind of expect from a plate carrier. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it still is going to retain this plate carrier uh, very well. And I've really enjoyed it, even though it's not my favorite thing. So that's kind of the biggest thing that I've seen with this plate carrier when it comes to things that I didn't like about it. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a great plate carrier, regardless if you're going to use it for training purposes. Uh, I know that some of the guys out at Fort Riley uh, have the ability to wear their own plate carriers when they're out in the field doing training. Um, if you're looking for a plate carrier for law enforcement, I think this is a great option as well. Maybe you're wanting to do the Murph challenge. Uh, this would be a great plate carrier to use for that uh, as well. Or, you know, maybe you're just a concerned citizen that wants to have body armor to protect their life, liberty, and home. You 
will find a great option here. Now, I kind of alluded to it at the beginning of the video, but this is going to run this setup with uh, this placard and the carrier itself is going to run about $200. So you are going to get uh, a good carrier for the price, but for you guys out there who are used to budget items, this is going to kind of really push that threshold for you guys a little bit. It's going to be kind of on the high end. I will say that all the stitching and everything on this plate carrier is ex exemplary. I wouldn't have expected anything less, and you're going to get a great product for the price. So that's what I have on this plate carrier. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Is the H-Rack from HRT a plate carrier you guys would be interested in? I would love to hear your comments. It is my favorite by far and is the one that I'm going to be wearing for a long time to come, to say the least. So I really appreciate them um, allowing me to bring this video to you guys and I would love to hear what you have to think. Sound off in the comment section down below. I'd appreciate it. It's really all I got this time. Thanks for swinging by, guys. I sure do appreciate it. As always, we are going to continue the Kalash files with more videos coming up here pretty soon. So if you guys are interested in AKs, I got some more videos coming here pretty soon as well. So that's really all I got this time. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time. Here comes a high five as usual. Freedom through strength. Here we go, guys. Come around the bench. Bye, y'all.